All right, boys, here we go. Oh! It was a trap. Did you see that? Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little upcoming banger by the name of Zero Zevert. And if you ever thought or wondered to yourself what a top down perspective, cool pixel art version of Tarkov or Stalker would be like, well, this game right here is going to be exactly, I think, what most of us would envision. But essentially, this game's all about going out there into the wasteland, finding supplies, keeping yourself alive, dealing with um, not only bandits, but ghouls, radiation, insane wildlife, you name it. Post-apocalyptic survival. Let's check it out. Okay, so I should mention right now we're going to be jumping into... A little off-camera save that I started just to kind of get familiar with the game, right? But um, we're not really too far in. I'm technically still in the same first mission. The first mission this game gives you is if we come over here to my personal device, I think the game calls it. Um, at the moment, we have to complete first steps. Barman told me I need to kill five bandits in the forest. As you can see, I've already done three of five. So I'm hoping that here with this video, we get to complete that and maybe jump into another mission to see what's up. Now, at the moment, to do that, what items do I got? Good question. Well, um, this is my startup load that I got here, the AK-74. This I actually got from one of the bandits that I did kill, the SVD. I don't have too much ammunition for it, but I'm thinking a good shot of this from afar, and we'd be pretty good. So, let's not waste any time here. Let's actually go out for this mission here, the conductor. Hello, Hunter. Do you want to go somewhere? Yes. We could, um, you know... Ask him about things and whatever you want to, but for the premise of the video, I just want to show you more of the actual gameplay. So let's uh, say I want to leave. Okay, um, we spawned in a very terrible spot immediately. There's like a ton of wolves right there. <laughs> don't don't like it here at all. Let's uh, move off to the right hand side. So very much like in Tarkov, um, you got to be worried about snipers and like you know campers, like banded variety at the very least, right? We do have exit points as well, um, extraction points, technically speaking. It's one up there and another one down there as well. And this entire area is for us to explore. Now, there's going to be factions as well. There's some banded factions out here, which theoretically speaking, you don't necessarily have to mess with them. I imagine probably somewhere down the line, we could probably get some quests with them. And, you know, because there's like a, a factions menu. Yeah, relations, uh, loners, green army, yada, 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 banded scientists, whatever. So it exists. So I imagine sometimes it's probably not best to piss everybody off. There's a wolf man over there. Okay. Some dude is over there hunting wolves, which is great. I've also leveled up my fitness by coming out here a bit more, which is great. So we know... Okay. Oh. I got news for you, boys. There is two bandits right there. We are looking for two bandits. Let's bring out the SVD. Let's creep up. This time, your boy is going to be the camping scumbag. Now, where are these men gone to? That's a very good question. They're going to get lost if you know, you have like the fog of war thing and like, you know, vision and everything. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did I blat the living hell out of this guy? Ah, uh, yes, kind of. Have I killed both of these boys is the question. I have a feeling that I might have. The SVD is a baller. Oh, yeah, you see how that, um, that, that freaking flying creature right there is eating the remains? We got him, boys. Two bandits is all we needed. We got two right now. Luckily for me, these guys out here hunting. Get, get out of here. This is mine. These guys out here basically hunting gave me, gave away their position for me. So let me this so easy for us. We're actually going to see the next mission now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vladimir Sitnikov. All right. Uh, we could carry this. Sure, I'll take this. I'll take that. What do we got here? Russian chocolate. Yeah, let me get this salami sandwich as well. Now, we can't carry too much right now. Unfortunately, I need a bigger backpack. I need to buy a bigger backpack. But uh, right now, on the way out, I want to take one of these things so we can sell them. But we're going to be very basically unable to run, so we have to be very careful on our exit now. 
This is some vodka? Oh, of course it would be some vodka. Alright, look, I'm gonna have to leave this behind, unfortunately. I can't, I mean, you're already overweight, Falcon, I guess you get a point. I guess you got a point. Um, I'm so overweight I can't even move now, though. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> put that back. Okay, at least now I can kind of move. This dude was over here dead as well, probably a victim of these dudes, Bandit Sergey. Oh, milk! Okay, hold on, let, let me consume this to restore my thirst and some of the hunger. Perfect. And some matches. I don't think that's gonna really come in too much, right? Okay, we're fine. So now becomes the um, part of needing to get back to an extraction point. Um, I'm really far away from a extraction point right now. Uh, we have to go all the way down the train tracks to the left. Oh god, it's gonna be a very, very long trip. Now, as you can see over here, there's a bit of a base. I'm not sure if that belongs to any sort of the factions right there. I'm not seeing anybody right now at the moment, though, which is fine. It's actually great news for me because, again... Hmm... <gasps> Again, every, t every single time you see one of the, uh, vo- Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Wolfman, uh, stay away from me. Not right now. Anytime you see, like, the, the vultures coming upon looking for, uh, remains flying down, usually it you, gives you a good sign as to, like, you know, there might be a body there for you to go check out. Whether it's a dead bandit with possibility of loot, or maybe just, like, a carcass left behind from one of the animals hunting. <sighs> Ooh! Oh, no, radiation. Oh, get away from there. I can't run. Can't run. It's okay. Don't worry. White is not a problem. It's only when it's in red that you really, really got to still worry about it then, right? Right now, white is still perfectly fine. That said, as you could probably imagine, stumbling into a very highly radiation area with uh, the inability to run. Yeah, it, it might um, make it difficult for you to survive. We're almost out of here, to be honest with you. I think we might be able to get out of here, which I'm glad. I don't know what that sound was. Off to the left hand side. It's it You're hearing this, right? This Look, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I'm 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 getting over COVID at the moment. <laughs> I've I've been having like some serious, like, you know, high fever days, and I'm finally a little better now. But I'm not delirious enough, I I want to imagine. That I, I I made up that sound right now. You guys heard right there. Okay, we extracted out. We're good. It's all fine, Doug. Right? Don't worry about. It. By the way, if I do sound a little bit weird off, I am actually getting over COVID. So it's uh, it was a real crazy experience to say the least. And I'm finally feeling a bit better today, but not a hundred percent. But finally better enough to you know speak and record and everything. Couldn't do it before. I was bedridden for ooh, a while. It was, it was funky, man. It was quite funky. So let's get back into the bunker here. Since so, so we got that first mission out of the way, we can now turn it in, and I could show you guys more of what's happening here in the bunker. These fellows right here, we could talk to them. This is um Yakim, Borisov. Hello, comrade. I want to know something. What are you doing here? My brother Vadim and I have been tasked to guard the main door. Oh, okay. him and Vadim, guardians of the door. Very good, very good place. Okay. Let's come over here. <laughs> I'll get here eventually, believe me. Yo, dog. Look, I just want to trade right now because I need to walk faster. And this right now is not really something I care about, so look, take it. Thank you. Okay. We've sold that off. We can now finally walk. Got some money out of it. Um, hold up. Before I even buy something from you, I got a task, dog. Completed. Thank you. Okay. So, with this done, First steps part two. Some more hunting in the forest. It'll help you get used to it. If you survive, I'll let the green army that the new hunter has arrived. I'll make sure you can get into their bunker area. Okay, so that's very important because the green army is actually part of this bunker. They're in the upper left area, and they're kind of dicks. They don't they don't want you in there. You know, they're like, oh, good out of here. You don't belong here, stalker. So if I do this, then they will allow me into that area, which um, I'm curious what's what's happening back there. You know, you got like a party or what? So survive the forest two times. What does that mean? Just go to the forest and extract twice? We can go up to the backpack one for 14. It's 11. This will give me more movement speed and ergonomic, but, you know, it's even less than we could carry already, which is a big problem. As you can probably imagine, now I need to carry more. Get your ass out of here. 
There it is. So we could go up to 20 now. I mean, it's not that much that much, but it's, it's it'll do. Okay, so with this done, this is the area that right now we do have access to. This is my personal stash. This is stuff that I have here for extra. I'm keeping a lot of these things because we're going to be able to modify our weapons eventually. And also, you know, have some food. Always a good thing to have. Here is we can actually craft things. Medication, ammunition, food. Based on the items that you do have. Um, I got bread, but I don't have... Uh, whatever this is. Cooked meat. In order to make myself some sandwich with meat. Repair kits, repair gear, mod weapons, modules. So, these are the things that we can need craft. I think we might be able to actually open up more of these now that I actually picked up this, right? So, use that. Gunspin now is level 1. So, more than likely... I might have opened up some more weapon mods. Nothing showing up here because in order for them to show up, I have to unequip the weapons. And then if I go over to mod weapons, you could see them there. Now, this is the one that I started off with, which already came kitted out. And then this is the one that I picked up from a bandit kill. And it was also already kind of kitted out. So I actually lucked out on this one. But if you find like little pieces out there yourself, you can actually, you know, put your mods together, which is actually kind of cool. Where in the hell am I? Good question. Hmm. We are near an actual base. I'm not sure who chills here. If anybody. Actually seems more like a logging warehouse than anything else. Well, again, we don't technically have to do much of anything. We just need to apparently extract twice from the forest. That said, do I wanna... Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I want to get shot, you're asking? No, 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 that's, that's the last thing I wanted to actually happen. As a matter of fact, I am bleeding now, so um, if we could please take care of that. And use uh, medkit, yes. Okay. Well, I guess somebody actually does chill here after him. They were too happy to see me. Let's give this another try. Now, I can't imagine they're not going to be out there looking for me after putting a bullet in me. Might even want to pop the SVD out here, you know what I'm saying? You want to be cute with those shots? I could be cute as well. That's, uh, that's a lot of voice. <laughs> that's a lot of voice. I'm not sure if I downed any one of them too, by the way. Okay, I got one of them down. I got one of them down. So I think the one that I popped with the SVD was almost down, and right now, a couple of these shots was enough to do it. I'm not sure. Uh, there's at least one more. I'm not sure there's more beyond the two that I have seen. Did I bring this guy down? It doesn't feel like I did. Like, it seemed like he... Oh, I did. I'm surprised. I thought he was behind cover right there. Like, I was in the open. He had cover. I must have lucked out. Two guys down. There's only two guys here? I'd be quite shocked. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. You scared the shit out of me. Okay, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let's, uh, let's just, uh, I just wanna, I just wanna at least loot this. Anybody? Oh, Rubles, let's go. USB drive, let's go. Uh, smartphone, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, everything's good here. I don't care too much about the wrench right now. I can't, I can't be in a situation where I can't run, so I can't overburden myself. Uh, oh, oh, that boy has an SVD as well. Okay. Now, Falcon, do you want to, um, just, uh, hey, you did a good job here, it's time to extract? You got some good loot, dog. Or do you want to go around, maybe, and get this guy from the backside, assuming that there's nobody? They can't be at me, right? I feel like there's some dudes here fighting against each other. And I might be coming into the perfect storm. I might be coming into the perfect- Ah! Ah! Stop it. Oh, there's, there's, there's some good bodies right there. There's some good bodies to loot. But it's very risky at this point. 
I'm not sure how many more boys is out there. SVD guy, I'm not sure. I mean, this guy had a handgun. More than likely that was the Makarov. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hubris is gonna get the best thing. I feel like I should just book, man. I could enter. I, I had no idea you could enter the buildings. Where? Where? Where is this gun bag at? I'm, I'm very curious about entering. I actually have never tried entering any of these places. Ooh, 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 SVD man is, um, roaming about still. They were apparently hunting uh, a big boar. That's what's dead over there, so that's the reason why they were shooting. It wasn't unfortunate, I was hoping they were fighting amongst each other, like some bandits against bandits, but no, no, no. They just saw... Well, I brought him down if it means anything, but there's another one. If this is the last dude, then we might... Oh, jeez, Louise. If this is the last dude, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. Reload, reload. Please tell me this is the last dude. Chill. Chill momentarily. Don't loot until we know. Okay. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. You know what? I can't go inside of this building. We gotta dip. We have to dip out of here as soon as possible. Because you see that you saw this? The salt? That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be overburdened with salt if I suddenly die after... After I've done so well here. Okay. We could still carry a bit more. Um, we might have to eat and drink water to increase their carrying capacity a bit. But that, that could be a... we could do that. Um, as a matter of fact, we got some tea here. We the smokes. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at how this thing is kitted out in comparison to ours. Okay, you know what? Uh, that... I want that one, my friend. Unload that. Okay. There's an SVD here. Remember that. If it's completely safe here now, I might be able to grab that SVD and then we just, like, you know, slow jog it to the next city. Anti-rad pills? Oh my god. Okay. Um... <laughs> the loot is so good. The loot is so good, I can't... Fro juice, let me get them, let me... I can still walk. Okay. I already got a macker of the, the boat's fine, though. Okay, um, where is an extraction? It's not too far from here. Okay, we actually make one extraction, one left to go. <laughs> oh my god. And we got so many good things out of this one, too. I'm telling you, who needs Tarkov when you get, uh, when you, get, when you have zero zebra here? At least there's less camping at extraction points you have to worry about, which is always a good thing, right? Now, anything here that I might want to trade? Uh, yes. I will, well... Mm, I mean, yeah, I'll sell this one because this one's the one that's very much kitted out, so you can have that one. Okay, so this right here would be our second successful extraction if we make it out of here. But, uh... Huh, extraction went all the way over there, huh? But I still want to check out that base, so... We're gonna go a little bit right, then we're gonna go down, check that out. And then afterwards, we got some really far trekking. Take it extracted. I think the... Wolfman. The worst part about this is it's nighttime, as I've mentioned, and it's gonna make it very difficult. That's a lot of wolves, man. Can I creep by? Chill. I'm good, dude. I'm good. We're good. We don't gotta do this. This is like apparently wolf country. Okay. Okay. Don't don't like that. Don't like that at all. Don't like radiation. Wolves, this is- I know, this is your hood. I mean, I'm good. I'm just gonna walk on by. I'm, I'm going down. I'm going south. These red crystals are. Not feeling them. 
Oh, ghouls. Oh, I told you they were about ghouls. Is he uh, coming after me? You're asking? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, he uh, absolutely is. Raw meat. Eh, something tells me probably out. Shouldn't. Shouldn't be um ingesting that meat at any point. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if there's any peoples there. But. My objective is here. Okay. Now, obviously, these dudes, yeah, yeah. They've, um. They have indeed reset. Unfortunately. Would have been nice if they were still dead. Just coming here and walking. That said, I'm still gonna just walk into one of these buildings. And that one. This one. <gasps> well, it's uh, much, uh, much of the same again. Much of the same again. Now again, the upside here is that they like to use lights at nighttime. So it does give us an advantage in terms of like where they're at. And they won't see me. You see that boy right there drinking some water? Yeah, he won't he won't know what hit him. He won't know what hit him. Can we reload? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's time for a weapon to jam, huh? That's that's great. Now they probably know that I'm here, so uh <laughs> let's probably move. Didn't quite work out as I thought it would be okay. Around the corner, scumbag. See what happens to you. See what happens to you. Oh! Okay. 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 Yo, we got we got a dash. We got a dash out of here. He's down. Get behind this rock here really quickly. Okay. Reload. Did they turn the lights off? Oh no, no. No, I need your lights to know where you're at. That's the advantage I had. Well. Oh, no, no, they're still gone. They're still gone. All right. All right, boys. Here we go. Oh! It was a trap. Did you see that? They had this dude over there thinking, well, I'm going to go over there and get him, obviously. And then this dude showed up afterwards, but I still had enough to take him out before anything happened. All three of them are down. Let's go. Okay, that's going to be our successful um, second extraction. I mean, we weren't able to do our business over in the other area because there was just too many dudes. But here, we, well, we got this. Uh, What do we got? Hydrogen peroxide. What is this going to be? Uh, I mean, I'll carry it for now because I can. Uh, sure, I'll take this as well. Uh, where's the other... There's another one here. Salt, I'll take that. Take this. Mmm. Alright, everybody. With that, I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been Zero Sievert again. Upcoming game. Very, very promising, especially if you might want to play Tarkov, but without the extra added, I guess, uh, stress that comes along with Tarkov for effect. But definitely a charming looking little game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.